<clears throat> All right, well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. You know, a few YouTubers have done videos about this. I know Matt Cully over there at SMM did a video for this as well. I just wanted to further put out some information out there for people to use and utilize. We are having a rally or a protest, as some people are calling it. This is happening in Washington, D.C., across from the White House in the area known as the Ellipse. Next month, November 9th, 2019, from noon to 4 p.m. I mean, this is going to be huge. This is going to be a really big deal. They are going to have speakers and guest speakers there. There is going to be media there. There is going to be hopefully, hopefully tens of thousands of vapors there as well. I realize it is a really big ask to go to a big vape protest happening in Washington, D.C., but this is, like I said, this is going to be huge. This is going to be a critical component into getting our message out there. We've been trying to get our message out there for years and years via YouTube, most recently via Twitter, where on Twitter, vapors get called bots. And basically what this comes down to is, look, we're really sick of being marginalized. And if you want to see our numbers, then you're going to see our numbers. And just to reiterate a little bit of what Matt Cully said over there is, we need to do this in a very respectful sort of way. We're going to be in the public eye. So the first thing I would recommend is leave your stacked tube mechs at home. Let's not turn this into a cloud comp. I feel like it wouldn't be super wonderful optics if there are thousands of vapors all gathered in the ellipse, all blowing gigantic clouds across it. There is also going to be media there and they're probably going to want to talk to vapors there. And so really my only advice for talking to the media was be as knowledgeable, as calm and respectful as you possibly can be. 13 million ex-smokers across the United States that have quit with vaping and now that's being taken away and we're mad. So I get it that we would want to be angry about it and kind of be militant about it. You know, I get that same exact feeling. Just today I was over on the Spectrum Network for their in in focus California show where I had to sit with a doctor and a host and kind of debate this issue of vaping. And I'll be honest, even though I was really, really prepared for it and I said to myself, look, you're gonna stay calm, you're gonna be rational, you're gonna speak clearly and you're gonna speak the truth. And even in this interview that came out, I think it came out on, on Sunday. If we're in a time machine right now, today's Monday. Happy Monday, by the way. If we're in a time machine right now on Monday. This is coming out on Sunday for everybody to watch. And there was a few times where I got a little bit too fine fired up and I kind of interjected myself and like kind of cut this poor woman off and I felt bad and I apologized and we continued to have a very you know respectful conversation but it's easy to get real fired up when your emotions are involved and me personally I, I get far too emotional about this I'm far too invested in this and I can't just sit there while someone's telling lies and not call them on it. So like I said, if you're at the event and you're talking to the press, just try to remain as calm and respectful and well-spoken as possible. I think what's trying to happen here is not just make our presence known, not just make our voices heard, but really put a human face on this. The public sees vaping and vapors as sort of like, you know, these seedy people out there that are trying to just hook your kids on nicotine. And the reality is we're just a bunch of normal people that simply don't want to smoke cigarettes. And I feel as an adult choice freedom issue should be allowed to purchase far less harmful vapor products. And I know a lot of people are going to be bringing like uh, protest signs and big signs and things like this. And I kind of want to just make sure that our messaging is clear and unified. And I personally would like to see the messaging that we're using being that overwhelming, we vape, we vote. We continue to get marginalized. We continue to get lied about. I'm proud to be attending this. I'm proud to just be there and be part of something bigger than myself. This is a huge, huge movement going on right now, you guys. Like I've said before in the past, we are the revolution and this is our opportunity to show that to everybody. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I would urge everybody, if you possibly, possibly can, get to Washington, D.C. on November 9th. I know that sucks and I know it's difficult and I know it costs money. There are ways to get there and I just, man, I really hope everybody can get there. If you want more information about this protest rally, you can go to unitedvaporsalliance.com. I'll have a link down in the description. Sorry, it's actually unitedvaporsalliance.com. 
org, of course. But I will have that link down in the description. There is a place on the website where you can donate money, where they're organizing things like uh, buses and bus transportation to get as many people to the ellipse as possible. I think 10 years from now, in the world of tobacco control and tobacco harm reduction, this rally on November 9th is going to be seen as one of the big sort of landmark events in this entire debate. We have to let them know that, look, we're not slowing down anytime soon. I'll die on this hill. I will defend the death my right to vape, and everybody's right to a less harmful alternative. And plus, I would just love to see you there. I feel like I have a lot of high fives and hugs to give out. But anyway, I don't want this to run too long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, November 9th, Washington, D.C., the ellipse. Be there or there's no other option. Just be there. Do or do not. There is no try. Yoda. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, no matter what any crooked politician tells you, Absolutely, you should keep on vaping.